What's up, YTPC? Big John coming back at you for the Sunday Night Special, baby. I know I've been gone way too long, and I apologize, I apologize. Man, they've been beating the brakes off of me at work, and I miss making the Sunday Night Special. But man, we are back. Let's chill. Let's have a drink. Let's pour up something. Shout out to all kinds of things and people that have been supportive of me, you know, from the beginning to the subscribers. Man, I love y'all and I miss y'all. And, uh, man, every one of my subscribers I consider to be like family, baby. So you come through and you see Big John and you chill with Big John. And I apologize for being a gone so long. But I got to make that bread for the family. I know everybody understands, man. Big shout out to my uh, distinguished ruffians family, Illinois chapter. I've been trying to uh, get in contact with a couple of uh, people from the Illinois chapter so we can kind of get together and get our cigar thing going on. And uh, it's been uh, real cool talking to a couple people. Also, shout out to Scallywag Cigars for hooking a brother up with a, a couple of new things, a couple of new things I'll be talking about tonight. And, uh, well, you know how we do it, baby. Grab you a drink, get you a pipe or a cigar, cigarette, whatever you want to smoke on, man. It's your, it's your prerogative. And come on and let's hit it. And let's get it, baby. We're going to take it home with a little down-home blues tonight, baby. Got that Alexander. Yes, sir. Little Red Virginia. She said your party camping And everybody's having a good time And you know what's going through my mind Do you mind if I get comfortable And kick off these shoes Why you fixing me a train Let's go. It's been too long, baby. Ain't nobody chilling like Big John, baby. Let's get it. Come on, family. ZZ Hill. What you know about that YTPC? Came off that 1982 album, baby. I was zero. 
one. <laughs> just born. Just popped out. Last pee in the dish. You know? So, man, I tell you what, one of the things I wanted to talk about tonight, most definitely for all my people, all my uh, people that have been working and working hard is uh, definitely um, in these factories or at these jobs where you're putting in these long hours, man, try to take care of yourself. Make sure if you're supposed to be taking your medicine, take your medicine, man. Uh, don't, don't, don't fight your family. Don't fight your wife. No fight that stress of uh, them people at work they, that they try to put on you. It ain't worth it. Take your medicine. Do what you're supposed to do. Take care of your feet. Man, don't be scared. It ain't a... <laughs> it, it ain't, you ain't less of a man because you go get get your feet done, man. I mean, let, let, let them scrape some of that turtle shell off of there so, so <laughs> your back alignment and everything will work correctly and right. You know... People talk about it. you learn something new every day, and I was just talking to Smokey Mo the other day, and something that came up I never knew about is if you drive for a living, you shouldn't drive on your wallet, you shouldn't have your wallet in your back pocket. I never thought about that. I'm like, man, I've I've taken some really long drives and sat on my wallet the whole time. And he's like, man, that could really mess up your back alignment, anything else like that. Not so much just day-to-day -day driving, but if you're on the road for a long time, take care of yourself. Definitely. Anybody that messes with me is more than likely a hard worker. Because <laughs> you probably ain't going to like me if you sit at the, the little, you know, or something like that. I know most of the people that gravitate to me are people that, uh, you know, most of the time, people just like me. You know, hard-working people, factory workers, blue-collar workers, such like that. Uh, people that start on their feet all day long, you know, it's one of them things. So take care of yourself. That's the point it is what it is. Of course, smoking on tonight, a little housekeeping check. My beautiful Alexander Pipe, and I cannot wait to the KC Pipe Show to get another one of these bad boys. It done went out on me, but man, these Virginias. Mm-mm. Virginias are delicious. Uh, shot call. My drink of the evening is going to be the, the very old Barton. Just a nice, beautiful bourbon whiskey from the Barton Distilling Company, Frankfort, Kentucky. 40% alcohol by volume, 80 proof. You can find this on the bottom shelf a lot of the time. There's a couple different variations in the proof back and forth. But just a smooth drinking whiskey. Beautiful bottle. Standard bottle, kind of like the, the Buffalo Trails, Trace and the Weller line. I mean, it's got a real pretty light color to it. I mean, it's just some good stuff, y'all. You see it out there? Give her a shot. It ain't going to break the bank. I want to say it's like 20 bucks or less on that bad boy. But what I've been up to lately, YTPC, I've been, man, I've been smoking an awful lot of cigars, I'll tell you that. Um give a you get a chance go check out a uh, cigar press they got a youtube channel they've been uh, helping me out with a lot of different selections and if you see it in your magazine stores or your cigar shops they've got a book that they put out every year called the black book the cigar black book and this magazine has all the new cigars coming out tasting notes what's going on with them what's the new hottest stuff to look for what man you know just all kinds of stuff in 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 the cigar reviews cigar press go over to the youtube channel give them a subscribe check them out if you can get grab the book grab it and uh you know learn a little bit i'm starting to get dig into cigars a lot more than i have in the past I've been a cigar smoker for about 10 years, but it wasn't something that I ever put any research into or anything else like that. It's just one of those things. You also get a chance to go check out, of course, the Briar Report, Briar Report Magazine. Check out their recommendations on their videos, everything else like that. Got some new cool stuff coming up. Get a little coffee break here. Got some new cool stuff coming up. And, uh, 
It is what it is. Keep your ear to the ground. Stay tuned on that one. Of course, I talked about uh, a little bit of cigars, getting into cigars lately. Well, you know, people are interested, you know, what you've been smoking on? Well, I've been uh, ordering several cigars from Scallywag Cigar. Check out their website. They've got some nice, kind of hard to get, uh, small boutique cigars that are uh, uh, selling out on other websites. So check them out. Scallywag Cigars definitely is a place to be. Some of the newer cigars that I've been getting in lately. Um, one I just got in yesterday and I tried it for the first time last night. And <laughs> I have to say, I, I love Foundation Cigars. I've loved the Tabernacle, I love the Wise Man, the High Clare Castle, and uh, the the one that I just got in, the Menelik, the special edition to the, the Vegas show, the big trade show out there in Vegas. Uh, got the little piggy tail on the top. Man, San Andreas wrapper, just a nice, beautiful, complex smoke. Um, you get your hands on a, a, a Menelik, or you get a chance to get your hands on a Menelik, try it. It's got a little bit of spice to it, but it's got like this stone fruit kind of, I mean, just all different kind of weird flavors. And as you as you smoke down, it's uh, it's very complex. It's very nice. Also, top of my list, one of the other uh, small boys is uh, Crown Head Cigars. Give them a check out if you want to. That uh, La Carim just beautiful beautiful stick this is a dessert stick anything that you want to uh pair with it that's sweet man i'm talking the after dinner stick uh, if you got a little bit of a sweet tooth and they got you like your wife got you on the diet smoke one of these bad boys it's it's not dipped or you know it doesn't have, it doesn't have a sweet tip or it's not a flavored cigar but it's just absolutely delicious sweet smoke man dark uh malty even so those are a couple cigars that I've been smoking lately and uh, what what I've been working with. Let me, all this talking, all this talking, let me get my smoke on. The smoke tonight for the special is going to be the McClellan's 1992 USA Series, Virginia. I picked this bad boy up from Pipe Stud a while back. Didn't have very many reviews on uh, PipeTobaccoReviews.com. Couldn't find out much about it. I know it's Blend 10 in 1992. Uh, one of the old boys that's on there, I believe one of the guys that... Uh, bought this bought at the same time from pipe stud that i did he said on his research he found that it came in like a three-part series with uh, i believe port of dumfries and new world flake i believe that this is a very very old blend of uh you know 5100 red cake and maybe some other choice virginias Definitely got some citrus notes to it. Got a little bit of a spiciness, a little bit of a leather kind of thing going on. Real pretty stuff. And I'll get you zoomed in here. You know how we do. I'm not going to leave you hanging. But real, real pretty stuff. 1992 McClellan's Virginia's. Forget about it. I got all kind of drinks over here tonight. Got coffee. Bourbon. Got my... 7-Up, my cold 7-Up, and my Yeti OMS slash Fat Daddy Pipes, repping the OMS Pipe shirt tonight, of course, of course. Um, recent tobacco purchases, man, oh, wow, I gotta I got, I got get caught up. I mean, as my special has kind of evolved, I definitely just wanted to document, you know, kind of my growth as a pipe smoker from the beginning back on my introduction. If you go back and watch it, it's, it's a crying shame, but it's, 
you know, it was, it was, it was, my name is John, it was, it was, <laughs> you know, but the one thing I wanted to do was document my progression in pipe smoking throughout the years, friends that I've met, awesome, awesome friendships, and, uh, guys that I talk to almost every day, every other day at least, Pipe smoking has truly um, changed my life. It's uh, been a way to relax and to uh, calm down, to slow down, try to be more thoughtful, try to be a better man, a better father. And uh, definitely with everything that's going on in the, the government and regulations and tobacco bans and whatnot, it's time to get your stuff, man. It's 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 time. People have been saying it, you know. Now's the time to buy. They ain't gonna be more any more cheaper. I mean, we see the prices going up. We see certain things just hard to get, you know. It, it, it started with the Esoterica, and now it's the Rat Trays, now it's the Sammy G's, and you know, Dunhills, and all all this different stuff. And uh, stuff's always gonna be around, but. Go ahead and get that seller stocked up with what you can, when you can. And it doesn't have to be no fancy McClellan's or Esoterica. Find out what you like and, and just buy bulk, you know, boatloads of it, you know. There's my seller tip of the day. Buy lots of tobacco, which really didn't help. But it's true buy early and often so uh, recent acquisitions and purchases of course I had a chance to grab some of that Cornell and Deal Sun Bear I was definitely interested in it I've heard kind of mixed reviews so far so I'm gonna I'm gonna hold judgment until I taste it myself and see what I get but uh just a pretty tin pretty tin art I mean that's the other part of tobacco is just the soul of tobacco I mean you know these family businesses bring in you know not just from like Cornell and deal but I mean it, all these farms and things you know where these tobaccos come from are family businesses these people are putting their blood sweat and tears into uh, these uh, these blends and then guys like you know Jeremy Reeves and them they get their hands on it and they, they blend it down and it's just it's so personal you know and that's what I love about uh, Cornell and deal and the, the Sun Bear series and uh, anything else that they're, you know, going to be coming out with. I think the Califas or whatever is coming out soon. Or if not, probably I'm out of the loop. Probably already out. But look out for that too. But recent acquisitions was able to stock up on a little bit of older GLPs. Was kind of happy to find some. Um, in my local shop, uh, John's Pipe Shop in Champaign, Illinois. If you haven't had a chance to get through there, if you're ever driving through Illinois or get a chance to stop there, stop there. There's always something in there. And uh, I believe a gentleman uh, passed away recently, so they acquired a lot of tobacco that he left to the shop. So I um, was able to get my hands on some 04 Odyssey, a couple of tins like so, the small little can type tins. Um, some 04 Piccadilly, some real nice stuff, a little Perique in that, and uh, one of the ones that I haven't had a chance to buy, um, just because I kind of forgot about it, is uh, I tried it in Chicago and loved it from 06, is some um, Abington, so uh, got a chance to pick up some old GLPs, good amount got uh, several tins on top of those that I just showed and uh, man it's some some good stuff you get a chance always check out your local pipe shops I know some of them aren't built the same some of them just kind of have the same old same old but dip in every now and again if anything buy you a pouch or something get you a pouch of Carter Hall get you some lane one Q you know pick up some of the lane bulks or whatever you know support these local pipe shops because you know it's one thing you know they they it, it's a dying breed and the way taxes are going especially in my state 
the state of Illinois. Um, I, I have pulled no punches in saying that uh, these rules and regulations that they're putting on some of these tobacco shops are going to run them out of business. So if you get a chance to stop in some of these, uh, these awesome, awesome places, do it, enjoy it, and have a good time. Go to John's in Champagne, sit down and have a smoke with the guys up there. Tell them Big John sent you. And, you know, it's, uh, it's an awesome place. Well, I believe I've rambled on long enough. I'm glad I got a chance to spend some time with you guys. I had a couple people hit me up and they were like, man, Big John, man, we need a chill session, ready to go. Like, A number one. And I felt good today. Had some back spasms earlier because, like I said, I've been putting in so many hours YTPC. I haven't had a waking moment. I probably seen my baby for the first time in 13 days today. But I was able to get some stuff done around the yard. Able to have a nice meal. Able to chill. It's been a good weekend. Now I got to go back to work tomorrow on Labor Day, of course, because, you know, the bottom line is the bottom line. But I was glad and I am glad to have a chance to chill with your family and uh you know till i see you again hopefully before the kc pipe show if you get a chance come on out say what's up to big john till i see you again baby peace and stay safe y'all i'm out <laughs>